It's scale. Yep. What are you doing? Well, I just got, I found your map <laughs> of the United Kingdom. Yep, you certainly have. And I've just placed kind of where we're about. So we're about here in mm -hmm. Hampton. And I'm just kind of dotting some other key points around the United Kingdom. Why right. do you think I'm doing that, Miss Smith? Because you really want to get in touch with your understanding of the UK and where places are because your no, no, geography no, no. is awful. No. Then why? These are the places that when lockdown gets lifted, these are the places I want to travel to so I can get as far away from you as I possibly can. That is really far! <laughs> if we're there, you want to go to the other side well, I of here, the country. I would just be surrounded by water. Here, I'm like, well, there's no chance. <laughs> Travel all the way up here, cross over here, and I'll be right on the tip. I might even go to one of these islands up here. <laughs> Mrs. Gale, yep. I've got one word for you. Yeah. Incredibly rude. <laughs> Should we get on the lesson? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to um, lessons with us. I'm just waiting for Mrs. Gale. She's just literally. <laughs> done that when I was in the middle of talking. I know, I just went a bit suspense. It's like she's going to get really awkward in a minute. She's going to get really awkward in a minute. Yeah, okay, I, I did go a bit awkward. So um, you finished playing with the map then? Yeah, done with the map. So have you decided where you're definitely going to go then? Yeah, I reckon I might go to some of the Shetland Islands, Scotland. Hmm. What, on your boat? I'm going now. <laughs> what, on your little rowboat? <laughs> yeah, off I go. The world's longest walk. Right, welcome back. It's Miss Mia and... Mrs. Gale. And um, we're going to be teaching you some English, so um, yep. sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Right, so we've got two key words here, synonyms and antonyms. I was talking about this at home the other day, actually. Oh gosh, poor family, that's a fun fact. That's a fun <laughs> family meal, isn't it? <laughs> it was quite fun. Uh, so synonym, Mrs. Gale, what do you think it means? Synonym means the same. Same as well. So I go, synonym means the same. So if I had the word sad, I might have the word upset. So sad and upset mean the same. The so they have the same meaning, similar mm -hmm. meaning. Okay, that's what I was trying to get at. A so, while. a word that means exactly the same as another word. Yeah. An antonym then, Mrs. Gale. So an antonym is the opposite. Okay, so antonym is the opposite of something. So if I had the word sad, the antonym may be happy. Okay, so you're looking at the opposite of a word. Okay, good. So a word that is an opposite meaning of another word. So here we've got, we will have, once I drag it down with my magic finger, an activity. So it says write the antonyms for these words. So the opposite meaning for these 16 words. I want to read you the 16 words. Oh. Maybe I read four, you read four and vice versa. Can you stop moaning? Why are we reading 16 words? Why not? Okay, fine. Just in case you can't read these. Just in case. And plus we like lots of screen time. Okay, right. we do I'll like start. Right. Dry, messy, right, asleep. Pretty, hard, small, night. Bad, fast, noisy, angry. Icy, easy, friend, rich. Wasn't that hard? It literally it took less than 30 seconds. No. So pause the video here. Can you write a word that means the absolute opposite meaning to these words here? Remember all the slides are on the system or on the school website, sorry, so please have a look there. Mm -hmm. Right, Mrs. Gay, are you ready? Yep. Do you want to give us an antonym, for example, dry? Yep, so dry, wet, okay. and then I have night, day, angry, happy? Yeah, or calm. Yeah, calm. Um, go on, Miss Mia, you got a couple? Uh, bad, good, rich, poor, asleep, awake, easy, hard, friend, enemy, oh. <laughs> small, big, but, yeah. messy, tidy. So. We've just got some examples here. Also, you can have different words as well. These are not the definitive 16 words that you can have, but these are the most common ones that you could actually identify. I'm sure you did. Right, let's carry on. Are you ready, Mrs. Girl? Yeah. So, we've got a past stats question here. We've got two, in fact. And um, it says here, top tip, use the process of elimination if unsure. Um, scale always has to use a process of elimination because she's always unsure, aren't you, Mrs. I am, and I love that process. It's such a good exam technique. Okay, so it says here, which word is an antonym, so we know antonym means the opposite meaning of difficult. So the problem was difficult to solve. They've actually put it in a sentence for you. Right, Miss Scale. Mm -hmm. Opposite meaning. Mm -hmm. Using the process of elimination. Let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking of synonyms as well. Synonyms mean the same, antonyms mean the opposite. Okay. Well, sometimes I just do that's a little, um, little bit of... I don't know what you Kinesthetic doing. learning. I say antonyms... Opposite, synonyms, the same. Okay, so I'm thinking about that all the time. Uh, right, so here. 
The problem was difficult to solve. Well, hard is very similar to difficult, and antonym means the opposite of something. So I'm just going to write that at the top there to remind myself. Mm -hmm. So hard and difficult, they're too similar, okay? The next one is, the problem was difficult, easy. Well, they sound quite opposite. I'm not going to mark it just yet, because I just wanted to check the other two. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem was difficult, impossible, that's the same. It cannot be that, it's a synonym. The problem was difficult, challenging. Challenging and difficult are the same, they're synonyms. So therefore, the problem was difficult to solve, the problem was easy to solve, that's opposite. That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely, well done to scale. Could you okay. solve your process of elimination? Magic finger, I've told you that before. Oh, honestly, you need to stop saying that. Why? Because it's a rolled old book. Right, so here we've got separate, different questions, sorry, and it says the following. Which verb is a synonym, so the same meaning? Synonym. Of Answer. the verb, if you produce something, so if we ask you to produce some work, what are we asking you to do? Or if we ask you, if we ask farmers to produce some food for mm -hmm. us, what are we asking them to do? So we've got four words here, we've got make, buy, sell and trade. So a word that means the same or similar to the word produce. So maybe pause the video, have a go. Okay, so if you think about the word produce, and if we ask you to produce some artwork, we're definitely not asking to buy artwork, are we? So it's definitely not going to be that. In the same vein, if we're asking you to produce some artwork, we're not asking you to sell your artwork. We're definitely not asking Mrs. Gale to sell her artwork, are we? You will be. <laughs> and then lastly, we're left with make and trade. So if you think about the word trade, people, we use the word trade when we're actually buying and selling things, okay? The word produce, if you think about farmers and they're producing food, well, what are they doing? They're making food. If we're thinking about you having to produce work, well, what are you doing? You're completing your work, you're making some work, you're, you're recording, you're learning. If we're asking you to produce art, you're making some artwork. So we know that the word is, in fact, make and not trade. Would you agree with that? Yes. Now, some, some people may have written, uh, may have worded it. So initially, Miss Mia pronounced this word here. There's two ways of pronouncing it. Produce and produce. So produce would be I an aspect. Used all of them. You'd probably use all of them, yeah. So if a farmer had produce, that would be they've got things to sell. So their produce might be uh, tomatoes, strawberries, raspberries. That's the produce. The verb produce is different to the noun produce. Okay, so if you're producing something, it's an action. Produce is actually the noun, and it's what the farmers are making. So that's another thing that could be misleading in terms of the pronunciation. Mm. So it's really important that you look at the word class. It's the verb. And they're homonyms because they mm. sound, they, ha they are spelt the same but are pronounced slightly differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. another one is read and read. So they're written the same, R-E-A-D, but yeah. they can be pronounced differently. But homophones, they sound the same but are spelt differently. Mm. All right. Nice little session there. There That's we go. Funny. Separate lesson there. So uh, <coughs> I'm going to now produce an excellent lesson. That's what I'm going to do. With You'll scale. be waiting all year for that. <laughs> right, are you ready? Yeah. Right, hello. To construct supporting and opposing reasons for the argument. Is Macbeth fully responsible for his evil actions? Woo! Ah. So, too much. <laughs> too, too much. Right here, so we're constructing and we're going to put together some ideas for and against him being responsible for his evil actions. And supporting means for, opposing means against something. So for... Supporting against. against. Okay, cool. So, what can you remember about conjunctions? So we had a lesson. What? <laughs> Honestly, if you don't know what conjunctions are right now, <laughs> we have done about 600 <laughs> lessons on them. <laughs> I feel like, honestly, I've just done conjunctions to death. I'm like, really, if I say that word one more time. Okay, so what conjunctions do you think I'm talking about? I'm thinking of all the different types of conjunctions now. So I'm thinking of... <laughs> so I'm laughing. Um, I'm thinking about um, fanboys, which are coordinating. I'm thinking of ice or wobble, which is co um, subordinating. I'm thinking of causal, which means co um, conjunctions that cause something. Um, I'm thinking of additive, which conjunctions are you to add something. And I'm also thinking... Of conjunctions that are contrasting conjunctions, which are however. Good. So last session, we looked at these three conjunctions. So it's additive, so to add another point. Contrast it to give a different point or an opposing mm -hmm. point. Don't know why you're laughing so much. And causal, a point that introduces another point. So these are what we looked at last session. Hopefully you got on well with the learning. Yeah. So I just wanted you to remember that. And remember conjunctions, 
add clauses together, okay? So it could be a word, it could be a phrase, it could be a clause, okay? So, is Macbeth fully responsible for his evil actions? Why are you looking at me it's like really, that? It's a really, really good debating one, like to actually think about whether you kind of agree with it, but obviously we're looking at a balanced argument um, and supporting an opposing reason, so I'm just having to think myself what I think. Oh my gosh, do you want to know what conjunctions are again? <laughs> so pause the video here and have a think yourself. So can you think about reasons why he is? Do you know what? Yes, he's in, he's in fact responsible for his evil actions and reasons why he isn't responsible for his evil actions. So have a little think yourself. There's a scale. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm thinking about whether he's fully responsible for his evil actions. I'm thinking of different contrasting viewpoints where I agree with it right. and where I disagree with it. And have you got to? Uh, have you got some ideas? I have got some ideas. Have what you actually? What are you doing? I'm just making it a thinner pen. Oh right. I thought you were just getting a line. It's, I don't know what you were doing. Okay, so can you give me a reason why he would be responsible for his evil actions? Uh, because he needs to take control of his own. He, he's fully responsible for his evil actions because he's done the deed. He committed the crime. So he's an adult and mm -hmm. he makes his own choices. Yeah. And he was the one that actually committed the murder. So these evil actions, I'm thinking of actually when he killed King Duncan. Is he responsible for that? Well, yes, he was the one that picked up the knife and killed him. Mm -hmm. He killed King Duncan, mm. yeah. So you can do bullet points if you want to. Mm -hmm. What else are you doing, Mrs. Girl? If you're not sure, just pass it back to me. Well, I'm just wondering where your train of thought's going. Go on, I'm going to pass it back to you. Um, he sent for those murderers to kill Banker and his yeah. son. Some reasons. And scale. The oh, murderers to kill. No, that's murders. I knew you were going to do that. Murderers. M E R D E R E R. Yeah, that's it. To kill B, Bay, and the son. son. Okay, same as the scale. I'm going to write because your writing is awful. No, I practiced really hard. It was one of my targets from Mr. James. <laughs> no, I practiced really hard. I'm going to blame it on my mum. My mum's a doctor and she's got awful handwriting. And I'm not a doctor and I've still Cry got really hard Cry me a river. I know, I've always had bad handwriting. Right, I'm going to try okay. really hard because it's always so, been a target of mine. Reasons why he isn't responsible. So he isn't responsible. I'm going to do it in a different colour here because I like a bit of change. So he is not responsible because his wife, Lady Macbeth. Is that meter? I'm trying really hard. I'd be surprised if you get more than two points in there. <laughs> That's because I'm trying. right and I'm trying. Lady Macbeth um, persuaded him, didn't, didn't she? So actually his wife persuaded him to kill, to kill the king. Okay. So I think that was quite a key um, part. I also think that I'm going to carry on talking now. Oh, so, I definitely didn't think that. <laughs> the other thing is that Macbeth didn't ask to come across the witches. He didn't actually... Yeah decide to go and visit the witches they were they just appeared out of nowhere after the battle initially at the start of the um, play mm -hmm. or the start of the animation so actually the witches um gave him these prophecies uh which were misleading obviously we know now um so he didn't have these thoughts until the witches made their predictions about yeah. himself and Banquo. Right, so these are the most obvious answers mm -hmm. are there any other no reasons or yes reasons you think no reasons, yes reasons. Those are, the, those are the most obvious ones I think of. Initially, when they were the ones that spring to mind. Mm. Okay, so shall we move on? Mm. Cool. So, what you are going to do, and this actual sheet is up on the website, and you're going to be using your knowledge of conjunctions to um, construct your ideas. Yeah. You're going to start writing... It's really bizarre. I know, I didn't want me to crush you. You're going to start writing some reasons why, yes, he was in fact responsible for his evil actions and reasons why he wasn't in fact responsible for his actions. And we're going to use some contrastive, additive and causal conjunctions. So we're going to model both. So one for yes, time? no. One for yes and one for no. <laughs> and then we will move on. I'm going to type because you take so long to type. So. Oh, can I? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Firstly, comma. Mm -hmm. So firstly, he is a grown man. Yeah. And is responsible and ha and must take responsibility for his own actions. Okay. 
Uh, uh, get rid of um, and is must. It's and must take responsibility. Okay. Mm -hmm. In addition. Are we carrying on? Are you going to do a separate bullet point? And I, I can use that in addition because I can add to my point then. Okay. Otherwise it becomes a bit... Uh, so in addition, in addition to this, let's put comma. So in addition to this, um, he carried out the deed. So the deed is the job. Oh, Miss Mears, it's low battery. Yeah, just go close. Yeah. Okay. In addition to this, he carried out the deed, which is a job um, of killing King Duncan. Okay, so let's do a no reason. We're not going to add any more because oh. we need the children to think for themselves, don't we? To be honest. Yes, we do. Okay. Right, we'll just do one no reason. So remember here, boys and girls, if you see the additive conjunction is here. It doesn't matter how, um, which order you use them in, that's absolutely fine. Right, so the next one is a Okay, so I'm going to start with a contrastive conjunction okay. because um, I think this is in contrast to what we're saying over this side here. Okay, but which one do you want to start I, with? I'm just having to think. Give me a minute. On the other hand? However, now let's start with however. That's the easiest one. However, comma. Yep. Um, his wife, Lady Macbeth. Now she's referring to. Mm -hmm. Has a strong influence over Macbeth's decisions. Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay, so hopefully, boys and girls, you can see here again, if I use my highlighter there. Oh, can I add here, after that point, I'm just thinking, Miss Me, I'm going to take, going to take it a little step further. Oh. I'm going to use a causal conjunction for that point. Okay. So however, his, so because Lady Macbeth has a strong influence over Macbeth's decisions, I put therefore, mm -hmm. therefore she is partly to blame for his evil actions. We've used deeds. Oh. Let's put actions. And I was referring back to the question at the top there. Okay, nice. So again, if I get the um, highlighter, therefore. Yeah. So we can see we've got an additive conjunction there, we've got a contrastive, and we've also got a causal. So we've used three different types of conjunctions there to uh, make our points. So what you need to do, boys and girls, is the following. You need to go onto the school website. Do you want to come on the screen once again? You need to go on the school website yeah. and um, have a look at this template. You don't need to necessarily print out this template, just have a look at it and start making your points. Mm -hmm. So reasons why... Yes, he is fully responsible, and reasons why he isn't fully responsible. And hopefully you can see how this argument is yeah. now kind of coming to life. Yeah. Okay? So hopefully you can see that. Yeah. So thank you very much for... Is there anything else here? No, no. another slide. Another slide with just all the different um, conjunctions there, just to make it even more explicit. <laughs> so, um, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that gives you a good indication as to what you need to do. And uh, we'll see you all soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.